Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series of Diddy Plays Games um, we're in Tropic 05 uh, I wanted to play this for a long time but I've not been able to for certain reasons uh, but I've just literally just got the game and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys so let's uh, I've already played the tutorial so I've got a basic idea of what we have to do but that's about it a basic idea so let's mm, go and start a campaign changing the world main campaign okay uh, new dynasty what should we call it it's got to be in it dynasty diddy Oh, did. There we go. Confirm. Okay. Let's see where we go. Oh, <laughs> who's this? Right. Marcio Didi. Hello, Marcio. No, we're going to call ourselves. What should we call ourselves? Well, let's stay with Mauricio. He can be a male. Oh, he can be a female as well, can we? No, we'll stay with a male. A general. All tropical soldiers inflict 2% more damage. Um, cost. Building cost. Decreased by 10%. Detect hidden roll in tropical. 20% faster. Converts two voters when cheat. No, we don't need to cheat. Do we need to cheat? <laughs> I think we're going to go for an administrator at the beginning. No, we'll go for the general. Go on, why not? Um, Caucasian. Let's fingers crossed, guys. What have we got here? You know those people who established dynasties so powerful that their names echo through the centuries? I'm one of them. <laughs> new world, new opportunities, no limits. Oh, yes. <laughs> Interesting. 
We are going to need some uh, of those, whatever that. I think we'll have a bit of everything, shall we? Well, at least we'll try. <laughs> I'm on a fiesta. Yeah, yes, yeah, what I had. Hore for Presidente. I think they're right. So, difficulty, economic, medium, medium, disasters, occasional. Um, does this make a difference? What map we play? I don't suppose it does, does it? Um, okay, so that looks like a nice map. I think medium's good enough, don't you? A new dawn. Win your independence. Okay. So let's go here. Do, 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 do. Ah, the Caribbean, a lush and untamed land. My new home. Certainly looks nice, doesn't it? Full of promise. A new beginning. Oh, my living on this island. Politics of the old world. A chance to start fresh and do things my way. I'm tired of the musty weather and rigid thinking back home. Yeah. I need a change. I was appointed governor of this island. <laughs> Not that anyone else wanted the job anyway. My unique approach to government will make this colony the most prosperous in the country. Alright, so what we got here? <laughs> How hard can it's it a be? farm. You just need some plants, a few nails, and a trusty advisor to shout at <laughs> Sounds good. Right. Welcome to the Caribbean. Thank you. Allow me to introduce myself, Lord Oaksworth. Hello, Oaksworth. Hmm. His Majesty has graciously given you this colony to rule in your name. For a number of years, indicated by your mandate, complete the tasks. What's the matter? Oh, that's this. Four years. Complete the tasks set by His Majesty, and I'll make sure that your extensions to your term as governor. Okay. So, first things first, let's just pause and see what we've got. What's going on here? What's this? What's this saying to me? Um, for six months spent revenue to hundred corn. Right, we're outputting corn. Okay. Um, so, first things first. Is I really don't know. <laughs> let's um, let's build a road. Build that there and build that there. Okay, so um, we'll build that there for now. What's the matter with you guys? You've got road access. Yep, okay. So, first things first is we really um, let's have a look. Research. We can't research because we haven't got a. Um, University or, or whatever it is. So let's think. Right, first things first. We've got a dock. We've got Teamsters. Um, do we have a construction office? Yes, we have a construction office and we have Teamsters. Okay, and we have here. Uh, what are we making here? What do we got here? It's for local consumption. That's okay, right, so we've got some food on the way. Um, so first things first, I think we're going to need some uh, contracts for some agriculture. What we got here? Trade, medics, research, dynasty members, and a Mac, and build menu. Okay, so... We're going to go for uh, a ranch. 
Where is a ranch going to be good? Over here, evidently. Um, so we could do with. Sorry, this is. I'm really haven't got a clue what I'm doing in this game. Okay, so we're going to put that there. What else did we say we was going to do? We were going to go to resources. Okay. What's the plantation do? No, we don't want a plantation, Dave. We wanted... Um, uh, we want a ranch is what we're going to go for at first. It cost me 800. Produce animal products. Milk, meat, wool, depending on the type of the ranch. Okay. Uh, it's pretty green over here. This is why I'm here. Uh, that looks pretty green to me. So we're going to get some food coming in. Okay. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As Crown representative, I can offer you... Good. Right, I can start you off with the silver package. That includes the trading license and a free trade ship. However, for a man such as yourself, I have to recommend the platinum package. That includes all features of the silver package, as well as not one, not two, but three special trade offers to start you off. Hmm. Three trade offers. Start me off by a trade license from the Dutch. <laughs> a lot cheaper though, but I'm gonna lose my crown. So I don't really wanna. Don't. Not quite sure what's the best course of action here. Um. Let's just go for the plain one at the moment, the normal one. Okay. So. Uh, workers, effectiveness, description, basic, trade. So we're going to get some, what are we, I can't remember. We want to really export corn, don't we? A little bit of corn. No, that's importing corn. We can export logs and we can export iron. Export logs and iron, okay. So... What's the matter with you? His Majesty needs money to build the no, really? Huh? What? I want you to begin growing money. I mean, one of those <laughs> make heaps of cash. All oh, right, okay. Carry out His Majesty's wish and you will reward with an extension of your mandate as well as other benefits. Object build one plantation sugar. Your mandate will start. Okay, so we need a sugar plantation. So plantation bananas let's go sugar and that looks pretty good there I must me I would have liked it there but is that that looks good let's go there that hasn't nicked anything from there has it no okay so we can get that on the way um, our teamsters should come from here or these lot, I'm not sure which ones it is, should come over and build it. Obviously they're building this um, animal one at the same time, aren't they? Why would he want us to make sugar if we can't export sugar? We can import corn, we can import I don't want to import, I need to export. Export logs to who is this? Minus ten down with the crown. To smugglers. <laughs> That's not exactly much higher than the normal. Uh, this is the one I really want. Iron. Okay, so we need to send out to a mine, so 
looks for some mines. There's a mine over here, so let's explore. Right over there, guys. We've got a lot of people without houses, so I'm going to build a few houses if I can. How much? Do they cost? 1,500. That's a lot of money. Um, that is a lot. Decisions. I'm going to put one down anyway. Oh, edits. Can we... Building permit, you need to research red tape to use this edit. Oh, okay. Um, not going to use anything else there at the moment. Okay, this is what are we making? Meat. How do we change it though? I don't know how we change what it's making. Yes, we do. <laughs> Research new technologies will allow you to improve our economy and society and help us break shackles or imperial masters. Research buildings require educated workers. You may have to hire them from abroad. Okay. Build a library. Let's build a library if we can. Uh, what's that going to be under then? It's not under there. It's not in there. It's an opera house. Tourism. No. Not in there. Ah, here we go. Research and education. So a library costs 5,000. Wow. Uh, where should we put this baby? I don't know which way around this is. Um, I'm going to put it there. Is everything else built? No, this still isn't built. Let's just speed it up just a fraction. Get that going. There we go. Instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. His Majesty is satisfied with your progress. He has extended your mandate as a show of gratitude. In addition, you can turn in a letter of commendation for one of these fabulous rewards. Hmm, which should I want? <laughs> First little gift, 5,000 into my Swiss bank account. Um, I may actually go for another 12 months on here. Because this is very low. It's got to be at least 51% to win the election. So I'm going for the mandate. Money is a problem, but... Let's see what if we got any more trade deals. Logs. No, we need to get into logs. Corn, bananas. No. So we're not doing very good on the old export. In fact, it's costing us 
costing us money. We got a little bit of money there. But not very much. Oh, it's going up, no, it's going down. <laughs> right, they're coming back. So, what is this? This is cold. Oh, okay. If you insist. I've been watching your career with interest, Governor. I sense great potential in you. However, joining the Order is not so trivial. You must first prove yourself. Gain your independence from the ground and you will be one of us. Okay. Objective. Declare independence. You will win the mission. And to declare independence, you have to increase your popular support. Yes. Do this, improve happiness and take steps to increase the revolutionaries on your island. Okay. So we're going to need, we want some, uh, we're going to need some towers. Uh, we're probably going to need a little fort or something. All right, this is done, yes. Is this made? Workers, effective upgrades, description. Is it not working yet? The crown sends you. Thank you for a little bit of money. Being able to stand on your own is a virtue I personally cherish. Self-sufficiency should be every country's goal. This is a lesson I would like you to learn. Show me that you can stand on your own and become a profitable colony. And I will help you with the revolution. Objective, have 15,000 reward 12 educated revolutionaries. Oh, right. So I need money. <laughs> and there's something else here. His Majesty has commissioned the finest architects to design his new underwater Again? home. We need your cash crops to pay for them. His Majesty's plan is simple. We buy your sugar then sell it at twice the price in the civilized world export 3500 sure you maybe will be extended for six months okay so we can export sugar is he going to automatically export sugar yes he is automatically do we have a trade though for sugar no Uh, sugar, we can import it. We can't export, but we can import. Oh, but look. Ah, it will cost me that. But I lose with the crown. Um, all oh, planks, that's what I need. Okay. Um, I want to learn, how do I... How do I um, research? Ah, oh, here. Ah, right, okay. The shovel, cowboys, and the sickle, farm upgrades. Okay. Um, I think we'll have to do that and we'll do that. We'll do in those that way. Okay. What we got here? The burden of ruling twists our perception of humanity. To us, people are just a resource that has to be managed properly. <laughs> Speaking of managing people, you can attract additional managers to your island. You can then assign them to your most important buildings to improve their performance. All you need is to build some new housing for the managers. Build five new country houses. Okay.
understand you are still struggling with trivial things. Like yes, I, I am. I will aid you this time, but remember, I offer my help only once. Oh. <laughs> Marley, while it does provide a means to an end, it's largely irrelevant in the big picture. It's just a convenience to keep the world in check. Here, have some. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and it relies on other people's money, quickly becomes their servant. And I have no time for servants. Okay. Take the money for myself. And I'll accept it for the treasury. Okay. What's this one? Is written by Conrad Marx, and it has some interesting ideas on how we should build our society. Conrad Marx's words about the struggle of the polarite remind me of our struggle for freedom. We need more of these polarite guys. You should build a new production building to grow our working class. Build a new logging camp. Okay. Um, logging camp. Logging camp. Okay, there we go. It's nice and green up here. Um, there I think. Let's put the road a bit further. Where's the road? Road. Let's put that there, and then we're going to go back to. Um, what are we doing? Resources, logging camp. That looks nice. There. There. Um, it's beautiful and green there, isn't it? As the, is there? Yes. I say, being a town colony is a kind of competition. One you are losing, old chap. Ah, am I? Beating you badly. <coughs> Don't pay the tax. Minus 30 to the relations. I better pay the tax, didn't I? Yeah. Are we going to make this or are we going to fail here? Not going very well, I don't think. Let's see what we can do here, manager. I see the houses are ready. Unfortunately, the islands of Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo ah. kidnapped the managers intended for you. Hey, oh, blimey. That's only they offered large mansions to get the managers from under your nose. Don't worry too much about it. You'll be able to get back at them at some point. In the meantime, I used the orders connections to get an extension to your mandate. Oh, thank you. Say, I was doing a manager. Just quick to hire. Great news. While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle. <laughs> now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. This will boost production sky high. I can almost see the glorious future. <laughs> His royal majesty instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation oh. for your achievements in the name of the Empire. He's extended my mandate and show a gratitude. In addition, you can tell me in the conversation with Fabs for Trevor's subsidiary, bum bum, additional man, another 12 months. I think we're going to go for the treasury. Okay, so... Good. A sign of gratitude for your movement and revolution. You have offered their help. Remember, you need to increase the approval rating above 50% to declare independence. Increasing the number of revolutionary islands will greatly help you with this task. Import revolutionaries. New trade routes with smugglers. Or 4,000. Well, uh, yeah. Now, can we get on with this, please? Uh, we have one. What's it going to do? Reduces pollution in the city by 10. But we're still going to hire him anyway. Um, 
We're going to up the budget on that. We're going to up the budget on that. And we're going to up the budget on that. Okay. Hopefully we'll get some, it'll cost us a little bit more, but we, we should get some more stuff in. Someone stole my manuscript and published it under a pseudonym. It was an autobiographical story about two men on a mountain who want to form deep-scale bonds. <laughs> oh dear. They even stole the surrealistic chapter with buried plants under a rainbow. The circumstances behind the theft are... <laughs> <laughs> Now all Jabrika men want to work on a ranch and I will never receive any recognition. It all went poof. <laughs> right, oh dear. These are terrible. Right, so we're up about half an hour now, so um, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to press that like button. And if you would like more of uh, Tropico 5, which I hope you would, please don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you all in the next edition. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.